on this episode, Broccoli Stops By. Hi, how you doing? What's up, Broccoli? Um, for everyone who doesn't know you in the poker game, the three people who don't know you, explain who you are, man. Well, I'm a Pikachu Libre player from the tri-state area. Mm -hmm. I live in Connecticut. Yep. And at Underworld Games, I started a monthly series called Inferno, which brings out all the top talent from the tri-state area and New England. And this monthly just, it gives a great opportunity for the players in New England to come down and compete because they have a struggling scene. They don't have a strong presence in their area. Mm -hmm. New England has lots of strong players, definitely, but they don't get the opportunities to travel and do what they'd like. Yep. Because all the majors, all the majors that hold Pokin are up in the tri-state area. They're mostly big E events that are all in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and that's like at least a six hour drive for them. And that's just one way. Yep. All right, so um, for any NEC, how many, how many people? Are in the well, the entered to the, the, the tournament in Pokin Tournament DX. Yeah. I believe that after on site, like the late registration ended, we have 53 entrants. Okay. Which NEC last year was a huge event for the Pokin community. We had players from all across North America, and we had Japanese players come, which was oh, obviously word. a huge thing. But this year, the Japanese players came to another event, Final Boss, which was in October. Which was an amazing tournament, super well run, and performed greatly. Who was uh, the TO of that? Uh, Johnny down at Hitbox Arena. I don't know okay. if you know him, but yeah, I know. he's me a good guy. Yeah, me and Johnny are good friends. He's a good guy, yeah. HBI uh, is a great place. Uh, besides this tournament, uh, what else, what other tournaments are coming up in 2018 that Pogan people can look for? Well, in 2018, we have Frosty Fostings coming up in January. Okay. I believe that's in somewhere in Illinois, right? I honestly don't know the exact location of Frosty, but <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I'm probably going to be going to that. A lot of players from Tri-State are showing up, and a lot of players from across the country, like California, supposedly Texas, Florida, Tri-State area, Midwest, everyone's coming because flights are super cheap, <laughs> yeah. and that just makes things a lot easier for everyone. Where do you, where do you like, see, like, Pokemon written, like, where is it going in esports and, like, maybe, like, the next, like, Evo and stuff? Well... I think Pokin Tournament DX is in a very confusing spot mm -hmm. because the original Pokin was released with the Wii U at the end of its run, so yep. sales were not the best, presence was not the greatest, and the lack of developer support and like organization didn't really help either because we have games like Street Fighter and Justice with big company-supported tournaments like Capcom Cup, IPS, E-League, stuff like that. That's massive interest, massive amounts of money, and... A lot of potential for new players to come and play. Mm -hmm. Nintendo isn't exactly the nicest when it comes to supporting their own games. Like, Nintendo doesn't do like big esports related events. They have like mm -hmm. community events, like invitationals for Smash for You. Yep. And they had the Pokémon DX Invitational E3, all of which were really well run events, but none of which really serve as big incentive for a lot of FGC players to get into the game because there's no real prize pool available at the moment. Because, I mean, we we do have other people like pledging money we have support we do have our pop bonuses but the amount of money available in Pokémon is nowhere near the amount of money available in like smash wii u or street fighter or something mm -hmm. like that yeah which is something that i don't think is very good and something that Pokémon struggles with but Pokémon is a game that the community has pledged its constant support and we will continue to attend support and create our own grassroots tournaments without developers support in the slightest it doesn't matter to us and we'll just do mm -hmm the things that we feel need to be done for the community. Yeah. Like, for example, there is works of another grassroots major right now. I can't really say much about it, but... Yeah, that's fine. There's another grassroots major in the works after Final Boss, which was the biggest and first grassroots Pokémon DX major ever. How many How many people attended that? Final Boss? Yeah. Hmm. I believe we had 97. That's big. 97 is big, well, like, yeah. That's, that's got to be, like, the biggest one that at least I've heard of around around this area yeah final boss was the biggest dx tournament so far in north america i don't know the numbers of japanese tournaments but i know there are a couple ones that rival that number yeah i think there was only one kanto tournament is coming up in japan in early january that's gonna be another huge tournament all the top players from japan a couple from north america are actually going so okay is um back to um hitbox is uh, is johnny gonna be doing anything yeah coming up soon, johnny or? Johnny loves Pokémon. Johnny supports the Pokémon community, and Pokémon has a very strong presence in the tri-state area. Mm -hmm. So Johnny will continue to support the game. He's holding his his mini boss weeklies every Wednesday night, and hidden boss bi-weekly events on Saturdays now. 
Okay. Like, for example, the next hidden boss is the... Is, next Saturday is the 23rd, correct? Yes. Okay, then, yeah, the next hidden boss is actually next Saturday, so... Okay. Johnny definitely has his support for Pokémon. Yeah, big ups to Johnny. Let me get, like, a link to Johnny right here. Yeah. Um, Hitbox Arena. Kinnaman, New Jersey. So what do you look forward to in 2018? Well, in 2018 for Pokken, I really hope that it's going to solidify the presence of the community because yeah. the big thing throughout 2017 is that the Evo donation drive. I'm assuming everybody in the FGC like now knows about Pokken because of the Evo drive, mm -hmm. where we donated upwards of $60,000 to get our game into Evo 2017. But Jesus. unfortunately, Marvel just <laughs> Marvel had more money, more spirit bombs, and yeah, we yeah. weren't able to match them in time. But it was still a great drive. We raised a massive amount of money for charity, and we really showed the presence and dedication that this community has to their game, yep. which I think is the biggest thing. And as a result of that, Evo pledged ten thousand dollars to have a one to add a one thousand dollar pop bonus to ten major tournaments in 2017. NEC, which is right now, is the last of those tournaments in 2017, which means after that, the Evo provided pop bonuses are over. The amount of money available will decrease more but i think that'll be the real test to show people's dedication to the game yeah because there are going to be people who stop going to events because they don't feel that they can make enough money for it they feel that they're not it's not worth their time because there's not amount of money in it yeah. but it'll also show that there are a still a massive amount of people who love and support this game and will continue to go to events regardless of the amount of money available like for example frosty Fossings. frosty Fossings has no words of pop bonuses for pokin dx yet but still, we have a ton of players all across North America playing from every single region in this entire country are coming to this one tournament. No special pop bonuses, no special incentives, just for the sake of Pokémon DX. It's honestly amazing. And I hope that the trend continues in 2018 with more majors supporting this game, more people coming out and supporting these majors and showing their interest. Yeah. The growth of more local scenes and hopefully gra more grassroots events. Because I think the I think we can grow in, in uh, Inferno up to pretty being pretty big. I hope so. Yeah. Like like maybe we should do like you know how Inferno is like the monthly. Maybe we should do something like every three months. It'll be like Inferno, I Inferno, and then like something else. So like a like a, a quarterly thing. Every three months. Every three months, something, like something big. Like a Super Inferno. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Supernova or something. Like, That's not bad actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that. We we'll talk. That out yeah, later, we'll talk yeah. more about. That. But any guys. Uh, this episode was about Rockland about poking and then hopefully pushing it forward. More guys come out support this. And uh, any last words, man? Well, I mean, I don't really got a lot to say to be honest. I would advertise the next Inferno, but we haven't really gotten that sorted out yet. So, well, we'll we'll try to right. get it. We'll try to get it in uh, in January. To Keep an eye out for Inferno that, Five. Yeah, stupid snow, man. Yeah, Cancels I know everything. I know the snow here was something else. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, we had to drive. I had to drive in. In the Philly with snow, man. It was fucking Ooh. terrible. Yeah. We got here just before it hit, so. Wow. All right, guys. Uh, for Broccoli and Drizzin, we out. Peace out, man. All right. Take care. All right.